are you doing? <laughs> Quite fine. How about yourself? Um, I'm doing great. By the way, guys, it's raining out here, so um, we've been running around like crazy. Mm -hmm. So I want to properly introduce everybody to Natalie Orr. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so Natalie Orr, a.k.a. Nat, she is a fine artist. And when I say her work is phenomenal, no, shucks. listen, I've been a big fan. And you guys don't know, but this is actually my first time meeting her and being you know, proper in that way. And like I said, I'll be telling you, like, I'll be under all her IG comments, like fire, fire. I'm dropping all the fire emojis. All the emojis. Yeah, man, <laughs> I'm dropping them all. So let me just start off by getting your background. Let me uh, ask, where did you grow up? Yeah, so I was born and raised here in Columbus, Whitehall, to be exact, if you're familiar with I the am, area. I am, I am, I am. Are you familiar with Rush's then, the Ooh. donut staple of basically oh, all of Columbus? Oh, Rish's. Rushes. Is that what it's called? It's called Rushes? I don't know, but I call it Rushes. <laughs> okay. So. But and it'd be the line be out the door. Every single day. And it's like a little in a little plaza. Mm -hmm. ah. And they have the best bow ties. Just, oh, oh. Gosh. Anyway, sorry. I haven't been, yeah. No, listen, that's a great tangent to go off on. Okay. Yes. So so let me ask, what 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 prompted you to get into painting specifically? So I mean, art in general runs mm -hmm. in my family. My mom was into it. She did paintings and drawings. Mm -hmm. uh, and then her dad, AKA my grandpa, rest his soul, he was into it as well. He did paintings nice. and furniture making. So it's kind of embedded so you, yeah, in so my you, DNA, I guess nice, you could say. Nice, nice, nice. Um, but I remember ever since I was a little kid, like just in preschool or kindergarten, when all of the kids would want to go outside for recess and mm -hmm. hit the playground. I wanted to hit arts and crafts <laughs> <laughs> and it just always stuck with me so here i am uh, 27 still playing still in arts and crafts yeah. <laughs> and you know that's what's so funny is that um we the society will would call it plain mm -hmm. you know they don't see it as work until you're van gogh or, they don't take it serious, or basquiat yeah. and it's like where do you think they started yeah at the same time so yeah that that, that I, I, I was kind of the same way I would be like that for like school and lunch. And I always had a um, intimate relationship with my art teacher Yeah. because he would keep me out of trouble. Yeah. He would notice like, all right, this dude during lunch, he would be trying to skip class yeah. or, you know, run out the <laughs> building. He, and he knew I always took a liking to like drawing and, you know, yeah. just being in that way. So when it came to art, I just always seen it as, you know, therapeutic. In a way. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. Very much so. So is that kind of what you felt when it when it came to art? Because some of your pieces, I know it takes, I don't know how long it takes, but I know it takes a long time. <laughs> yeah, and like that's why I think that's why I love it so much is because I don't look at it as like a job. It very much mm. is so therapy. I enjoy doing it. I love being able to make people smile and just like yeah. uh, and just do like some self reflection whenever they do look at one of yeah. my pieces and I just want to inspire people yeah. with it. Yeah. And I mean it's just fun creating beautiful shit. I don't yeah, know if yeah. I can cuss Fact. or not. Now listen, <laughs> okay. shit all of that. That this shit is great. So when it comes to that process of making art, what what leads you into so I want to get into like your color schemes. Oh. Her, her, the way she draws inspiration from like, I like how you all have like a, um, you'll have like a flower, this exotic flower, mm -hmm. but then you'll have an entire paint that I'm assuming that you kind of. Yeah, match and match, yeah. yeah. Um, so for instance, when I had my first solo gallery show back in January of 2022 and mm. we are in 2023 now i'm still getting my dates confused yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah. but yeah 2020 um, don't count yeah, but yeah. <laughs> uh, the whole like inspiration from the show came behind an exotic flower that i saw when i was down in puerto rico um so i went down That's there five. yeah i went down there for a birthday trip and me and the group that i went with we rode some atvs in Ooh. their rainforest and then we took a reprieve like next to a stream in this field and I remember like getting off of the ATV and mm -hmm. like approaching this tree and the tree looked like it was on fire, but really it was these just exotic flowers that had oh, red, that yellow bright. and oh. orange tints and they were just like the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. So I was just like, mm -hmm. okay, this is a sign that, just, yeah, that I that should just, use these colors and yeah. 
yeah. spread my wings and fly. And yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you take any with? I, see, I'm the guy. I'll be trying to like sneak stuff on the plane. <laughs> sorry, sorry for my for my pilot in here, but like I'll like take coconuts or something or yeah. a cute little flower and stick it in the book. I don't know if customs would have been cool with that. Nah, they would have been fine. You would have been good with a flower. <laughs> I but took a flower I mean, I of course got a ton of pictures and videos with yeah. the flower, so it's all. That's here. dope. <laughs> now you mentioned. That's what I want to get into as well. So you've had your work in quite a few museums and galleries. We're trying to expand. Yeah. Um, really, everything started uh, with Art Basel in Basel. Oh, I still don't know. It's Basel. How, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, used to, I used to do Art, <laughs> yeah, Art Basel. I'm pretty sure it's Basel. We're going to ride with that. Yeah, tomato, tomato, yeah, potato, yeah, yeah. potato. Um, yeah. Art, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's, it's so fun down there. It is so fun down yeah. there when it comes to that. So so uh, the first time that I attended was the first time that I exhibited. And this was in uh, December of 2021. Okay. Um, I got a random DM asking if I wanted to participate. It was mm. like, hell yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, um, it was in collaboration with the uh, Ciroc brand. It was myself oh. and maybe, I don't know, 10, 11 other artists. And so Ciroc reached out to the... Well, so like they do it to where like these brands will hire curators and then the curators will dive into their uh, collection of various artists that they can choose mm, from. And bring that brand up by having the cool yeah, art and stuff around win -win it. It is a win-win situation yeah. for everyone. So that was a super cool experience. That um, is nice. And I mean, I just love getting dressed up and socializing yeah. and yeah. meeting other artists and yeah. looking at the work. It's just Yeah, it's fun. nice when you got the best artwork in a room too and it's just like... You can kind of look around and be like, oh, this is all right. But. <laughs> well, <laughs> as, well, as you know, they say it's all subjective. subjective. Nope, yep. nope. <laughs> it is what it is in my world. This is better than that. <laughs> it is what it is. Fair so enough. I want to get into even, even, so you mentioned, I'm a big uh, brand guy. Mm -hmm. I shoot for a lot of brands. I shoot for, like, I do like a lot of brand campaigning. So when it comes to artists in general, they kind of run away from the business aspect mm -hmm. of the art. We don't want to deal with it. I understand. Like responding to emails, emails. and going it's back so and boring. forth. We just want to create. But I mean, when you're first starting out, you're the creator, you're the social media marketer, yeah. you're the manager, you're playing yeah. like seven or eight different roles. So yeah. it just gets to be a lot. But I mean, you, you got to pay your dues. See, I mean, and yeah. I'm, gl <laughs> I'm glad that you said all that because you said it from a pure artist standpoint, but you ended it with you still got to do it. Yeah. No matter how much we complain about it, we still got to do it. <laughs> and you do it. So the way you do that's what really attracted my eye to your art as well is you 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 shop it the right way um you give it the right light it's not just you know we was just talking earlier about how a lot of artists would just and i'm gonna stop saying just because that's not fair but some artists they they um they make these pieces and they think the line stops with their family and friends mm -hmm. and they'll just be like hey buy this because i made it yeah and it's like you gotta make it desirable yeah you got to market it. You got to put some advertisement behind it. So the whole world, what inspired you to make, like you said, those flowers inspired you, Yeah. which inspired that painting. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure you would want that painting to inspire the world. Mm -hmm. You can't do that from your backyard. You can't know. do that from garage yeah. sales. Like you got to put some real money behind it. Yeah. So these artists, you know, they kind of get gypped in that way to where they, they really gypping themselves because it's like, take the time, get your back in right. So you can market your art the best way that you can. Mm -hmm. And that's very important, man. Yeah, you do it right. And I, you had a recent one in um, King's Lincoln, I believe. That was the um, solo show. That was at the... Oh. Uh, so that was your first solo show? First, yeah, first solo gallery show ever. Fire. Uh, hopefully there's many more to come. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the whole story behind that is a super cute one, so I'm going to share it. Okay, um, yeah. Listen, so we all for stories. <laughs> back when I was in high school, I attended this alternative program called Mosaic, and it was uh, it just took, like, two or three students from the surrounding school districts, mm -hmm. like uh, Reynoldsburg, Hannah, New Albany, so on and so forth, and we would all meet at this church. It's actually right across from the Columbus Museum of Art. I can't think mm. of the name of it, um, but it gave us an art credit, a history credit, English, and one more, I think. So maybe. doing the art, they gave you those credits to substitute for that? Uh, 
sort of, kind of. So. Okay, okay, all right. You so listen, like, you got me excited. I'm trying to jump ahead. So, like, for the program, we would basically just kind of go on field trips to mm. various places around Columbus, like a mosque or a synagogue or a what? political building or a cultural arts center. Oh. So, one of the field trips that we went to was the MLK Center down in King Lincoln. Oh. And I remember um, we were on a tour uh, mm. in the tour guide. Her name was Lynn. Love her. Mm. And at the end of the tour, she asked the group, is there anyone that's an artist? And I had just started off painting. I wasn't was like, I was, well, me? no, I didn't oh. even say anything. I, oh. I wasn't quite confident in my mm. work yet. Um, so I just yeah, had yeah, my yeah, head yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Did you have, all right. So this is the, now this is the essence of usually what I like to talk about in general. What was it that, what was that confidence issue? Did you think the work wasn't good enough? Did you think um, you wasn't confident enough to speak in general? I'm afraid of rejection. So mm. I didn't want to like display it. And then she'd be like, oh, OK, cool. And then th th that just would have blew yeah, my confidence yeah, even more, yeah. even though I didn't really have any. So anyways, uh, my friend, her name is Ania. She mm. was just like, oh, Nat paints. I'm just like, oh. You're just like, oh, uh, cheeks start turning <laughs> now, red. Yeah, like now I'm going to have to show her my stuff. And if she doesn't like it, I'm not going to. I got an eyelash, sorry. Uh -oh, um, I'm not going to want to like paint anymore. Oh, yeah. um, but so I showed her my work and then mm -hmm. she asked me for my email address. And it's like, hold up now. Yeah, like, you felt it going Are somewhere. we forming a connection? <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, um, later on that day, she sent me an email asking me if I wanted to participate in an upcoming group show. And I was just mm. like. You felt real business right there. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm popping okay, out here. Yeah. yeah. And so from then, I mean, I participated in, in a couple of different group shows there. Mm. And so when it came time for me to have my first like solo show, it was a no brainer that I wanted mm. to have it there to just have a nice like full circle yeah, yes, moment. Full circle you know? moment. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. And it that's why it's important to have those type of friends around yeah. you. The ones who gonna put you out there when you feel like you can't. Literally day in and day out, I realize more it's that whole saying, um, I'm sure you've seen the movie ATL. Uh, Listen, I love ATL. I forget the actor's name, but he says like it's not about uh, what you know, but who you know. Uh, the the, the preppy one. Uh, I thought yeah, it was the he was, he was someone the in that movie says yeah, that, yeah, and yeah. that has resonated with me yeah. ever since. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just like. Having those connections, like whether it's a curator or another artist, like people really put you on. It's yeah. A blessing. <laughs> blessing, man. That's that's awesome. I love to hear it. So well, let me ask, where do you see everything kind of going forward? Have you ever played in any other different mediums? Um, I mean, when I first started off, I was doing sketches, just mm -hmm. like with charcoal and graphite, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm a color fanatic, so okay. I kind of lean more towards painting mm. um, and primarily oil painting, to be mm. exact. Uh, but as far as other mediums, I've always been super jealous of people that can sculpt. I oh, think yeah. That Sculpting is fire. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's almost like quadruple the time, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would be fire. Yeah, so I mean, in a perfect world, I would try and dive yeah. into that and make my own personal, like Michelangelo is piece. But yeah. we'll see what the future okay. holds. Okay. So, do you usually have, uh, like, collect? Because I'm referring to, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the actual name of the collection, the red one. All of all the characters. The fire colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was uh, titled my Aurora. Aurora, I that's guess what it say. was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's probably my favorite one. Oh. All of them are beautiful. That's my favorite one. <laughs> well, another story behind that. Yeah, give um, it to me. So obviously the colors were mainly red, yellow, and orange. Mm -hmm. And when I... Fiery. Yeah. yeah. Um, when I first started oil painting, my mom had took me to Michael's favorite art store ever. And they had these two different, like paint sets that you could select one was for cool colors you know blue green purple nice. and the other set had those fire colors the red yellows and yeah, the oranges so yeah, i just yeah, kind of yeah. did like a blue shoe blue shoe who's yeah, yeah, yeah. not you ended up with red and yeah so, yeah you just picked yeah. it up now you had the blue one too I like did, that. yeah. So that was, um, you know, as artists, we do get rejected. Mm, <laughs> so, yeah. Listen, we got to take them notes. Yeah. So um, that that whole piece, uh, I wanted to try and submit it to get into the Franklin Park 
I'm sorry, I have another yeah, eyelash. Listen, you are perfectly fine. So you were trying to get it into the park? Yeah, uh, so the Franklin Park Conservatory, uh, they had like a gallery on the inside. That would have been hard. And they had a group show to where you could submit your art to be a part of it. So that's the painting. That, that would have been so but fire. It in, but it's still a Now nah, we're going to knock on their door this so, summer. This summer yeah. we're knocking down <laughs> doors, man. So what other, do you have any, now I want, I want exclusive content. Do you got any extra, uh, any collections coming up or? Because uh, I've been noticing some of your like one-off pieces and one, I love your like, she is very good at showing your process. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I like, sometimes I'll be asking for more time lapses, yeah. but I just know how long time lapses oh and all that gosh. stuff that goes into it. It so, takes more time making a time lapse than it does to actually paint. I know, it's I insane. know. But it looks so dope, yeah. especially in your work because it's so detailed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let me ask, do you have any extra collections coming up or are you working, what you working on now? Nudes. Oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, just the... The, you know, yeah, just the body. body. It's yeah. just so beautiful. You had a, you had a, that, uh, what was that? Was it the blue one? Part of the blue? Uh, it, but one of the primary colors in it was blue. Yeah, I know yeah, which, yeah, yeah, which yeah. Uh, that was like the first like nude painting that I've ever done. That and one was cold. It, that was the most like prints of a painting that I've ever sold. So I'm just mm. going to try it. Yeah. Where do you, them. where do you gain your perspective at when you're, doing when you're painting these bodies because the way you paint them they are coming from very unique perspectives they're not just flat in the face or just like you're you're capturing a quarter yeah. of a body or half like what 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 prompts you to do that oh well hopefully my parents don't kill me but they're uh -oh. like <laughs> self nudes oh okay <laughs> so you okay. know what i mean just I yeah, some just catches your eye about that angle or where it cuts yeah. off or how it cuts off no nah, and so i mean I'm not gonna lie like with that painting because it was me in it and the amount of like attention and like compliments that I got from it like whenever someone would say like oh like this is beautiful I'm thinking you like, oh, like yeah they think you I'm put your bird back it's hands. a nice like confidence booster <laughs> yeah yeah man you killed that one you killed yeah I, that's probably the one that got all the comments yeah. and all the fire emojis <laughs> but yeah man that's what's up man that, that 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 really makes me happy that makes me happy and as a general artist um do you do any collabs with other artists Ooh, no. or no <laughs> that sounded no. like bad when i said it, but, um See, i'm a control freak mm, and so i just want to control that. like every aspect of the process and yeah. another story to share yeah. um i remember i was in high school this was prior to me like painting mm -hmm. uh there was this artist that wanted to collaborate on a piece and she was pretty established in the short north area so mm -hmm. i'm thinking like oh snaps like i'm gonna collaborate with her and this is gonna be like my golden ticket to getting mm. into the short north, you know? Yeah. Uh, so fast forward, like it was to where I would sketch it and then she would paint it. So I'm just mm. like, okay. So I sketched out the piece, she painted it, and then she called me over to like sign it, appraise it, et cetera. Yeah. And when I saw it, it, it just, just wasn't, wasn't matching what I vision. had envisioned. Mm. So I was just like, I'm a dude. I gotta I'm do gonna it just all. teach myself how to paint. So I taught myself how to paint, and I've never collaborated with anyone since. You know, that's crazy. I will say though that uh, the only person that I do trust to like help me, like maybe paint a background or like uh -huh. ship my stuff or just touch my art in general, would be my mom. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mom, yeah, yeah. Mom got the mom got to go. Yeah. That is that is wild that you are. I'm glad you brought that up, but that is wild that you are self taught yeah you know how many people go to school and still don't be that good i think like, it's a superpower to be honest <laughs> yeah yeah that's what's up so that was what led you into like all right i'm gonna just learn this what was that process like i know it had a lot taught. of trial and error yeah. emphasis on error <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's funny yeah. but i mean it was also just fun just being able to like i didn't really know like any i guess like technical rules for mm -hmm. it so it was just fun to just I don't know, let loose express myself and just see what comes out of it. Yeah. And here we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, do you prefer to do, I love the, I know how much work goes into it, but do you prefer to do like those big giant ones? Because I think I've seen you do maybe like a couple of those. <laughs> so when that a do too, she'll like warm us up and she'll go into like a store and take a picture of a huge canvas. And I'll just be sitting there with the Mr. Burns hands. Like, like what is she coming up? up? Yeah. <laughs> now, what, what what is that process like? Because those, those pieces are huge. 
Yeah, um, I definitely prefer the smaller ones just because they're super quick and yeah. well, not super quick. They still take a ton of time, but yeah. they're just they're definitely easier to execute. But mm. the big pieces, I mean, when something is life size, I feel like it has more of an impact because it does. It's life size. Yeah. So. But yeah. I mean, in the future, I would love to make paintings that are twenty feet yeah. tall. Yeah. Like, would you, would you ever do a mural? I've, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I've always been interested in them just because, like, they're you permanent. You would kill a mural. And I mean, like, in, in, I don't know, like, one of my fantasies, I I love nightlife and traveling mm. and going out and clubbing and partying and yeah. whatnot. Um, so, I mean, I would love to be able to, like, collaborate with, like, various clubs across the world and, like, paint murals in them. And whenever I That's go the future. and party, you know. Oh. Take a shot with it. Yeah, <laughs> but that's a ill, that's a ill dream right there. Yeah, though. So. I don't see that far off. It's manifesting itself right now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I do not see that far off. Yeah. So what do you? You know, I'm glad we got into the art talk. What do you? What do you like to do in your personal time other than painting? Are you? Ah, uh, tennis. Okay. Um, that oh, look up, at you. Yeah. Little, Wimbledon. Little Serena. Yeah. Thing, you know. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. But I have a twin sister. And wow. Yeah, her name is uh, Nicole. I did not know this. Yeah, she's not very artsy. Okay, 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 okay. You sucked all the art on yeah. her. <laughs> um, but the whole tennis thing, so back when COVID first happened, both, mm -hmm. of, both of our parents are high risk, and we were all living together in the mm. same house. And we wanted to get, uh, get out and get some fresh air and get some type of physical activity. So we mm -hmm. just said, well, let's try and play tennis yeah, you know it's yeah, a yeah. nice like social distancing yeah, uh, yeah activity or active. sport. Get, yeah keep your mind busy keep your body busy mm -hmm. so we um went to one of those like play it again sports stores and picked up some rackets and some balls and the rest has been history with it we just played mm -hmm. um for the first time uh Wednesday, whenever it was 68 and sunny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lane. That one rare day that we had. Yep. Yeah. And Everybody then, was outside. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then Monday, it's just supposed to be like 67 yeah, it's supposed to be beautiful and sunny, again. so we're going to try and play again. Yeah. Oh, man, I love I just always like getting that little tidbit out of, you know, artists. Because usually artists and creatives, they're so deep into their mm -hmm. art. So you ask them what they do, they'd be like, I make art. Yeah. Just like, we got other <laughs> outlets as well. Yeah, so, so oh, sorry. No, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> I was just going to say tennis, um, learning different languages. Oh, look um, at you. Spanish and French. I Let's go. Uh, I want to be fluent, especially because one of my, like, ultimate travel goals is to go to Paris, go mm. to the Louvre. It's a big, Order like, your bread city. in French. A croissant. Yeah, <laughs> facts. And, yeah, facts, you know, yeah. be able to just communicate that's fly, with though. people there. Yeah. yeah, that's fly, man. Mm. That's so fly. All right, Nat, I, uh, I know you are the superstar that you are, and we, we got only so much of your limited time and your energy. I just want to say I appreciate you. Yeah. Please continue to do more, and please continue to show more. I'm very big on content. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, listen, push it out, get it out as much as you can, because if it inspired you, mm -hmm. it's going to inspire the next person who is scared to raise their hand when they yeah. ask if they paint it. It's very important to do that, especially for the youth. You know, the, the older people, look, look, they already out of the door, so. And I think sometimes, like, we get kind of discouraged pushing out content with the whole, like, algorithm thing. Yeah. We get lost in the numbers. And sometimes I just have to remind myself, like, if only 20 people, like, comment on this thing that mm -hmm. it is a beautiful piece. Just, like, imagine 20 people. In a room. Like, actually in person. Like, you would be overwhelmed. Like, oh, my gosh, thank you so That's much. Thank fact. you so much. So just. You know, just realizing that everything does. I appreciate. Right. I appreciate that mindset. <laughs> it gets. It if we could just sprinkle that everywhere, like salt bay on everybody, yeah. I feel like we would kind of <laughs> just we would bloom. But once again, I appreciate you so much. Um, on every endeavor that you have, I'm gonna probably be try to. I'm gonna try to get rich so I can buy every piece that she makes from here on out. But yeah, I appreciate you. I also want to say I appreciate C Bus Arts. I appreciate the Ohio Theater. If you haven't noticed, we're in this gorgeous space right now, Hi. and yeah, it's, it's beautiful <laughs> here. We got the nice grand pianos and stuff. But I want to appreciate you guys for watching and taking your time. And if you could give a follow, a subscribe, um, I'm going to probably post this on a different uh, couple platforms. I'm going to shout out the team who is behind this. All the guys that I work with are great. Of course, Natalie is great. And I want to say I'll catch you guys later. Bye.